Good evening and welcome to the Coon Rapids City Council meeting for Monday, January 7th, 2019. If you could please rise and join us for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Oh, so we have to do the oath first, and then we can do the roll call. Otherwise, I suppose technically I'm not here yet. <laughs> All right. I guess, I guess I'm meeting you. <laughs> I probably should have done this from up there. We're very honored to have the Honorable Tammy Fredrickson here to do this, so thank you for coming. Thank you. And Mr. Mayor, the honor is mine. If you'll please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, Jerry Cook, do solemnly swear. I, Jerry Cook, do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of Minnesota. And the Constitution of the State of Minnesota. And discharge faithfully. And discharge faithfully. The duties of the office. The duties of the office. Of Mayor of the City of Coon Rapids. Of Mayor of the City of Coon Rapids. In the County of Anoka and State of Minnesota. In the County of Anoka and the State of Minnesota. To the best of my judgment and ability. To the best of my judgment and ability. Congratulations, Mr. Mayor. Thank, Thank you. So now I can be here and we can actually call the roll then, right? Councilmember Council Member Skoviak? Here. Councilmember Kicker? Here. Councilmember Demmer? Councilmember Geisler? Here. Councilmember Johnson? Councilmember Wells? Here. Mayor Cook? Here. Two absent, Demmer and Johnson. Thank you. First item on our agenda this evening is to adopt this evening's agenda. So moved. Sorry. Motion by Geisler, second by Wells. Any uh, discussion or corrections? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? And the agenda is adopted. We have five items of council business, not consent agenda, so we'll take each one. Item number two is to designate the council secretary. Um, since 1994, the council, or in 1994, the council entered into an agreement with Time Saver Offsite Secretarial Incorporated for recording and preparation of the meeting minutes. And this agreement has been extended annually, and this one represents a uh, reflects a rate increase of about two and a half percent. So, council, any questions or? Mr. Mayor. Councilmember Geisler. I'll make a motion to adopt resolution 19-1, designating Time Saver Offsite Secretarial Incorporated as council secretary for 2019, and to approve the addendum to the recording secretary service agreement. Second. Motion by Geisler, second by Kicker. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? And that motion carries. Next is uh, uh, the council rules of procedure. Annually, the council adopts the rules of procedure setting forth the order of business for regular meetings along with certain definitions and explanations. Um, and then I'll just read this paragraph quick. Um, the city manager is authorized to prepare a list of consent agenda items, but the mayor or any council member may request that a particular consent agenda item be removed from the consent list and placed on the regular agenda. This action should be taken at the time the agenda is formally adopted, and the item will then be placed for consideration immediately after adoption of the remaining consent agenda items. Um, and of course, as always, should the council have any questions regarding items posted on the final agenda, contact staff and they will provide additional information before or during the council meeting. Your Honor. Council Member Kicker. I make a motion that we adopt resolution 19-2, establishing council rules of procedure uh, and adopt the addendum to resolution 19-2, definitions and explanations of city council order of business. Second. Motion by Kicker, second by Griscoviak. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 
Aye. Aye. Aye. Opposed? And that motion carries. Item four is a designation of the official newspaper. The Anoka County Union Herald has submitted a proposal to serve as the city's legal newspaper for 2019. Their publication rates will remain the same as in 2018, and the Herald meets all requirements for serving as the legal newspaper. This year, the city also received a proposal from the Star Tribune to serve as the city's legal newspaper for 2019. The Star Tribune publication rates of $1.31 per line inch are higher than the Anoka County Union publication rates of $1.19 per line inch. So we're looking at a motion designated the Anoka County Union Herald. Your Honor. Councilmember Kicker. I'll make a motion that the, we adopt resolution 19-6 designating the Anoka County Union Herald as the official newspaper of, for 2019. Second. Motion by Kicker, second by Geisler. Discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? And that motion carries. Item five is the board and commission appointments. We're looking to approve the annual appointments of members to the city's boards and commissions. And I just want to, so I'll just read the ones that are either being reappointed or the chairs. For Arts Commission, we have Mary Ann Keene, Chair, Ellen Felling, reappoint, um, Elaine Stooley, reappoint, and Jim Ulwelling, reappoint. I don't think I probably pronounced any one of those last names correctly. <laughs> Um, and then there's eight vacancies on the Arts Commission I would like to mention because that's a very fun commission. They do a lot of great service for the community and uh, there are some vacancies there. Uh, Board of Adjustment and Appeals. These guys do the real yeoman work here with appeals and things and right, we are reappointing um, Aaron Vandalindi and he will serve as the chair again. And we have one vacancy for, the, for that. So we would like, uh, we're looking for somebody for that. Uh, let's see, Civil Service Commission, um, appointing Bruce Sanders chair and reappointing Al Hofstad. Historical Commission, there are two vacancies on that. Uh, we're reappointing Luann Koskinen and she will be the chair. Reappointing Bill Peterson and Ronald Wendell and Bob Powell, Robert Powell. Um, Parks and Recreation Commission, there is one vacancy and we're appointing Neil Livermore chair and Karen Blaska as an appointment. And then for the Planning Commission, Wayne Schwartz is reappointing and will continue on as the chair. Don Heikola is a reappointment. Christopher Geisler is an appointment. And Ron Bradley is an appointment. Um, Safety Commission, there are four vacancies. We're reappointing Al Hofstad, and he will be the chair. And the Sustainability Commission, there are two vacancies. Stacy Demmer is the chair. And Tim Lockram is being reappointed as well. Um, so that's what we have for... Your Honor. Council Member <coughs> Kicker. We'll make a motion that uh, that we, the council, adopt the following resolutions. Resolution 19-4, approving annual, do I need to read all these? Do this? <laughs> You're doing so good. <laughs> I, get, I, well, I notice it says following resolutions, so if I need to read them, I can, that's fine. I think if you just adopt the resolution and the number, that would be sufficient. So, so 19-4, 19-7, 19-8, 19-9, 19-10, 19-11, 19-12, and 19-13. Second. Motion by Kicker, second by Griscoviak. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? And that motion carries. Item seven this evening is to approve the minutes from the December 18, 2018. Did I Mayor. miss something? Number six. Thank you. I put the line through the wrong one. Um, um, item six is the council appointments. Um, each year the council makes appointments to certain organizations and the council is asked to make the 2019 appointments at this time. And we're looking to, um, bu -bu -bu -bu. so Anoka County Joint Law Enforcement Council uh, the 2018, you know what, this is actually going to be read as part of the motion, isn't it? Or One should or I, the other. <clears throat> or you want me to read them now? Either way. Either way. But it only has to be read once, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> Mr. Stemwettle? Mayor Council, the resolutions reflect the 2018 appointment, so we just carried that slate forward. If Council would like to make any changes as part of your motion, we would ask that you indicate specifically. Otherwise, if you approve the resolutions, it will be as they are for 28, were for 2018. Okay, all right. 
So I'll just zip through these. Anoka County Joint Law Enforcement Council 2018 appointments and well, reaffirming Councilmember Wells and Chief Brad Wise. Councilmember Johnson will be the alternate. Anoka Hennepin Community Education Advisory Council will be Councilmember Demmer and Councilmember Griscoviak will be the alternate. Uh, local Government Information Systems Logis uh, will be Matt Stemwedel and IT Manager Dave Sack with Councilmember Geisler as the alternate. Minnesota Metro North Tourism, TC Gateway uh, will be Mayor Cook and City Manager Matt Stemwedel. Schwann's Super Rink Joint Board, Councilmember Wells and Public Works Director Tim Himmer with Councilmember Kicker as an alternate. Anoka County Fire Protection Council will be Councilmember Johnson and Councilmember Wells as an alternate. Coon Rapids Fire Relief Association, Councilmember <laughs> Geisler, Chief John Piper, and Accounting Manager Fran Hansen. North Metro Mayors Association, Mayor Cook and City Manager Matt Stemwedel as, as required by the association bylaws. And Youth First Community of Promise, Council Members Geisler and Kicker, Council Member Johnson and Recreation Supervisor Ryan Gunderson, alternates. Mr. Mayor? Council Member Geisler. I will make a motion to adopt resolutions 19-14, 19-15, 19-16, 19 19-17, 19-18, 19-19, 19-19, 19-19, 19-19, 19-19, 19-19, 19-19, 19-19, 19-19, 19-19, 19-19, 19-19, 19-19, 19-19, 19-19, 19-19, 19-19, 19-19, 
I'll make a motion that we adopt resolution 19-3, designating depositories and investment collateral management procedures. Second. Motion by Kicker, second by Geisler. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? And that motion carries. Um, and we are up to open mic. Anybody here for open mic? Please. No? All right. Just checking. What a minute. Good opportunity to air grievances or anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so moving along. <laughs> Maybe the record should note that Mayor Rickert's family is in the yeah. office. <laughs> um, we have no reports on previous open mics, and we are up to other business. First meeting of the brand new year. Any uh, other business? Mayor and Council, I'll just note that our uh, winter concert series starts this week on January 10th yeah. with the Good Foot Express. So that'll be, what is there, six winter concerts? I may be getting that number wrong, but they start this week and go every other week, I believe. Yeah. Maybe only four, because it's is like it four? Yeah. January, February, yeah. March, April, I think, isn't it, or something? Four. I'm losing track. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Should have pulled it up first. Yeah, yeah those are fun. Thursday evenings and a little uh, coffee and dessert and uh, some good entertainment. And... Yeah, it's fun. All right, any other business? Move to adjourn. Second. Motion by Geisler, second by Kicker to adjourn. All in favor, say goodbye by saying aye. 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 We're adjourned. Except for that three hour marathon. Six,